everybody and welcome back to Super Tech Services. We got another cool video for you today. So if you ever wanted to know how to clear all the settings on the copier without zeroing out the meter, I'm going to show you that today. And there's a setting called initialization. So I'm basically going to show you guys how to get into that menu and initialize the copier to where it pretty much resets all the settings and but doesn't mess with the meter. So let's just go to utility counter dis uh, display keypad stop zero zero stop zero one like usual okay now that we're in here we're just gonna go ahead and hit system one and then you'll see initialization right there and then I normally hit clear all data and then press start but before we do that I just wanna show you one thing when you do this it's gonna disable your hard drive and that's gonna to go to not installed so after that we just need to uh, after we do the initialization we wanna come back and bring that to installed and I'll show you how to do that so let's just go back and initialize the copier here just press start you can also see you can um, clear things individually using the copy program data, fax data, network setting, all history data. You can do those individually if you'd like, but I did the whole thing. That's what we like to do. And then just make sure you power down right afterwards and then power right back up. It's just a good thing you, if you get a machine, if it's a, if it's a used machine, you definitely want to clear all the data. All right, now that the machine powered back on, let's just go right back in. Stop zero zero stop zero one. And now we're going to want to re enable the hard drive. So just click on System 2, Hard Drive, and then hit the Install button. And it takes about five or six seconds to um, for the installed light to light up, so just give it a little bit. All right, cool. And now that that worked, just go ahead and hit end, and you want to reboot one more time. All right, just power down and power back up. All right, just let it come up. And with that, that's the end of this video. Really simple, really easy. How to initialize a Konica copier and clear all the settings. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you on the next video.